Hello crafty friends, welcome to today's video in which we are going to play with the smushing technique. If you've watched any of my videos before, you've probably seen me use the smusher. All the smusher is, is some plastic bag around some scrunched up paper towel with a bit of tape around the neck and you pick up ink and smush it around like that. This is my mini smusher and it's just a domed blending sponge on top of a handle wrapped in plastic and held in place with a hairband. If you want more detail then check out the smushing playlist. I'll link it in the eye and in the video description. But today we're going to make a new type of smusher. So for today's smusher I'm actually going to use bubble wrap and this was an idea that was recommended to me by several viewers of my how to make a smusher video. So what you do is you get several pieces of paper towel, you scrunch some up into a nice flattish, roundish shape, and then you wrap that in another piece of paper towel just to keep everything together. Then you can use a bit of tape just to hold that shut like that. And then you gather up your bubble wrap to create a handle. And you could hold that in place with a hairband, but I've just got my tape to hand, so I'm going to use that. I'm going to push that down so we'll get a nice flat surface to pick up paint with and smush with. This is a piece of mixed media paper and I've got some Distress Oxides here. I've got peacock feathers and wilted violet. I'm going to smush those down on my mat, add some water and use my bubble wrap smusher to pick up and smush down my colours and I get some lovely bubble wrap effect there. I can pick up, I didn't have any water to that did I, pick up my purple and go over the top. So you're getting a smushing meat bubble wrap technique. So you can put your piece of bubble wrap down like that, then smush your inks on top, squirt on some water and press your paper down. That's another way of doing it. But I like this because you can see exactly where you're putting your pattern. And this would make a lovely background for a card. And we can mix those colours together a bit to get a another lighter grey purple or a purpley grey. So those are three types of smushes that you can make. Do let me know in the comments if you've got any other ideas about what to add onto your smushing surface to pick up and maybe add some different textures when you smush. But while we've got the bubble wrap out and hot on the heels of my pigment powders 101 series. I want to show you something that I really really enjoy doing with pigment powders and that is putting them on bubble wrap, just adding them here and there. These are luscious powders so they've got some sparkle in them and they're very pigmented and I'm going to use a teal and a purple again and I'm going to add some water on top to activate the powders and the binder. Just make sure I get in all the gaps with the water. And then you can either put your paper down on top of your bubble wrap or you can put your bubble wrap on top of your paper. And then just press it down. And you get a nice watercolory effect, which is very delicate and very subtle. And very regular. So I'm going to use the luscious powders again, add some water to make the paints and I'm going to pick up the paint with my smusher and just smush it on. So here we have our three panels that we've just made. This was the one where I used Distress Oxides and really smushed on lots of ink. This is the one where I picked up the Luscious Powders with the smusher and didn't use quite as much ink. 
And then this one is the one where I laid the bubble wrap down on top with the luscious powders on. So you get a bit of a different effect with each method of application. This one is more regular because you're just putting the piece of bubble wrap down and the bubbles are in a line as it were. And then this one is a bit more random, but you're still getting kind of a bubbly effect. Now, I think what I'd like to do is make a card. I'm going to use the Distress Oxide smushed background with this hexagon die. And this die cuts out a frame, but I don't want the frame right now. I want the bits in the middle. I'm going to put glue on the back of this. So I'm going to get a bit of deli paper to mop up the excess. Just press that down on there, just so there's not loads of glue that's going to splurge out when I put it down. And I get this on here. And then push the hexagons out of the die. There are a couple of other little bits I can use to fill in the gaps. And I'm going to cut a feather out of this gold foil cardstock. I'm going to pop that on there like that and press that down with the clean side of the deli paper. And I can quickly wipe over the gold foil to get the glue off. And I've got this pre-printed, pre-cut sentiment that says happy birthday. And I can pop some of this skinny foam tape on the back. i pop my T-square ruler on there again because I want to get the sentiment straight. Pop it over the base of the feather. Like that. Then I'm going to take some more gold fold cardstock and cut some wobbly circles. And I just want a few in different sizes. The rest I can pop in my little pot of gold circles. And there you have a relatively quick and easy card made using the new smusher the bubble wrap smusher i hope you've enjoyed the video hope you like the card and i hope you give the bubble wrap smusher a try if you do make any cards with any type of smusher do come over to my facebook group it's a really lovely welcoming safe place to share photos of the cards that you make right i think that'll do for today thanks for joining me and i will see you back here very soon bye for now